Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So today I'm gonna do another five by seven. This time I'm using the Chroma Molten Metals. I absolutely love these. Um, they just are so creamy and so easy to, to uh, mix up with your pouring medium. And they're not that expensive. You get an eight ounce bottle for $3.89 at Dick Blick, so it's 50 cents an ounce, basically, which is less than craft paint when you go get Deco Art or one of those um, at $1.77 to $2.19 for a two ounce bottle. That's a dollar an ounce, basically. And these have such beautiful, rich colors. And the colors are aged bronze. Xanadu Gold, which is sort of an uh, orangey gold. Copper. And Dorado Gold. And as I said, they're the molten metals. The base coat I've already put down is Artist Loft Parchment. Since these are relatively warm tones, I didn't want to put down white, and I really didn't want to go with black on this one. So I have mixed these with Liquitex pouring medium, which I don't normally use, and probably about one half pouring medium to one part paint, and then added water, distilled water to thin them, and they are pretty thin. So I hope I didn't make a mistake doing that with um, metallics. It seems like either go thin or you go thick. I mean, it's kind of weird. So um, they tend to, to duck and hide, as I call it. They sink a lot of times. But since these are all metallics, hopefully they'll do okay. My chart says for a five by seven, one ounce of paint. And so I'm just gonna layer these in here. Start out with the light gold. I think I'm gonna do the bronze on top of that light gold. I didn't put hardly any in there. Let me put a little bit more. On top of that, I think I'm gonna go copper. And then that orangey looking gold. And next to it will be the light gold. A little more of the bronze. It is sort of a brownish tone, but it almost has a silvery look to it. So I don't know how it's gonna blend with these others, but I just wanted to try it with the Liquitex pouring medium and see what they did. Cause I've never mixed up any. I'm new to the Liquitex pouring medium. And one of the reasons that I mixed everything so thin is because I see Melly D mixing hers pretty thin. So I wanted to kind of try that whole thing out. So I may just do a little ring pour on here. These colors are pretty. Very thin, as I said. I think I have a blob.
Go on over that edge right there. Okay. I am wishing that instead of putting the that aged bronze next to that gold, I had gone with one of the copper or the Xanadu um, gold that's orangey looking. I think it would have looked so much prettier. I mean, the brown looking aged copper gives it a nice definition on the lines, but I like the color of that orange. I think it would have been really pretty if I'd have done that. I'll try to take this off this side a little bit now that I got that piece of paint out of the way. There we go. I think I'm going to bring it down and try to cover these two corners a little better. Seems I have plenty of paint. I'm going to lose some of that gold, though. That orangey gold or that copper. Of course, I'm losing now my ring. That looks like a blob right there. Can't tell if it's just color or if it's actually standing up. I think it's actually standing up like there's a blob there. So I'm going to take it off. So... I love these colors. One thing about the Liquitex pouring medium, it seems to leave everything bright. It's not dulling it down. Even Floetrol will dull it a little bit, not as bad as some things. Um, for instance, I think glue dulled mine a whole lot more. But um, it's, these colors are really bright. I'm sure you can kind of tell that, but I'll go over that corner just a little bit. This side's showing. I got it too thin, I think. But it was an experiment, so that's okay. Now I got some of that to show again. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I think I'm gonna put it on one of my little pieces of foam core with the um, freezer paper on it to dry. Set it where it's good and level because I don't want this to tilt off anywhere. Um, and so that was my experiment for today. I love the way it shows the rings. And like I said, I'm not the best ring pour person and I love these colors, but I do wish I had gone with that copper up against that yellow gold. This gold is absolutely gorgeous. And I highly recommend buying these molten metal chromas. Um, they also have a set of them. I think my first set that I bought was on Amazon. And it was four colors, one bottle of each, maybe five colors. There's another color, which is a red, which is Rojo. But um, I, may have, I think I've got five colors, but they were like 26. Six, twenty-eight dollars, thirty dollars, maybe something like that. So you can look on Amazon see if you can find them. That'd be four dollars a bottle. If there's five bottles for that, would be twenty dollars. So that's a little more expensive than Dick Blick. Um, but it's something to consider. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I love these colors.